Your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Right up here, this is called an MCV. What that is is just an old vortex. It's almost like a mini low pressure. This is an old remnant low from severe storms out in Iowa last night that brought wind and tornadoes there. But yeah, that's the little spin. That's the MCV. And then on this side of it, we've got three little clusters of storms that have gone severe. And that's where they're going to stay. These storms are moving to the southeast. They may eventually kind of congeal into one or a couple bows of storms and sweep into Kentucky. That's what prompted the severe thunderstorm watch. It's pretty much Highway 18 and southward. Uh, but I think we're in good shape. You know, we got a few little storms out there, showers. Uh, but there's a lot of really thick dust that, have been, that has been coming into Illinois and northwest Indiana. And it's really dried warmed a layer in our lower atmosphere and it's really strengthened the cap and it's been hard to get much really sustained here at all this evening. These go up and then they just fall on themselves because you've got that dry warm layer and they, they may punch through it briefly but they ended up end up just kind of cutting themselves in half and falling in. We saw that with this little cell here that's now north of Pine Village. That's weakening. Now this one's weakening, though it's still producing a decent amount of uh, cloud of ground lightning near Sitka on 39 here in White County. This is moving east southeastward. Weakening, but you may get a shower or a downpour here in Burnettsville. There's like a uh, psych it down here. You may get a shower or a little thunder there and also just to the south of Royal Center. And a couple other weakening showers and storms here in Fulton County. This one is moving east south eastward and then you know once we get to midnight these are going to be out of here now temperatures are warm running in the 70s to near 80 right now but it is juicy it's been very unstable very juicy this evening very sheared for some severe storms but when you're capped like that it's going to be hard to really sustain things a dew point of 77 right now at frankfurt and a steamy Dew point of 74 at Fowler and 76 at Delphi. Lows tonight, upper 60s to as high as about 71, kind of a dusty, smoky haze, some patchy fog late, and any storm or shower will exit the area. But watch for some of the patchy fog in the morning. There you see your low temperatures. Tomorrow we're at 88 to 93. Fog burns off, dust and smoky haze tomorrow afternoon. Today we didn't have as much smoke. It was more dust from the Sahara than anything. Tomorrow, the dust decreases, the smoke increases. There'll be a smoky haze tomorrow. Some of that may mix down to the surface, so be aware of a little bit of a burning smell and respiratory issues tomorrow. 90 flora, 91 attica. Note the peak heat indices at 95 to 107. Wednesday, we could get clipped by a few storms in the morning as a complex kind of pivots through Illinois, otherwise dusty, smoky haze. It's another hot one at 91, 87 to 94 for highs, and your peak heat indices at 96 to as high as 109. So any storm weakens, pulls out of here tonight, watch for a little bit of that fog in the morning, burns off, then we're in good shape tomorrow afternoon. Watch the air quality, which won't be great, and then we'll watch this. There'll be a complex of storms right here that may skim by our far southwestern areas coming up on Wednesday morning, even the model doesn't show that wouldn't surprise me. And one of these complexes of storms might clip us on Thursday morning. We'll keep an eye on it though. 92 on Thursday though, 85 Friday, a few showers and storms. A hair cooler for the weekend, so pretty warm though and humid and then hot and humid next week.